coming up. Excellent. Good to see that the boys are in good spirit. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of South Ballers FC. And for those that are new to the channel, we release a new video every Monday evening. So this game right here was a league game versus none other than AFC Bexley. It's a team that we faced in the past in a cup game where we won 4-3. So we already know that they're going to be on serious smoke. But that's all good though, because we're on smoke as well. Without much further ado, let me introduce you to the Warriors for today. In goal, we've got Dominic. The back four consists of Tunde, Ben, Daniel and Eunice. For those of you that have been watching our videos, all these faces are familiar faces to you. In the midfield, the two CDMs, we've got Pels and Shams. Again, for those of you that watched our videos from last season, you'd remember Pels. In the number 10 position, we've got Romario. In the wing, we've got Charlie and Dara. And up top, we've got Abu. The squad was looking a bit light for this game. So we had Samson, Quams and Ibs. Ibs is a new signing, so I'm looking forward to see what he can do. Now that we've gone through the formation, let's look at the league table. So we're currently third. As you can see, we're not too far off from the top of the table. That's the goal, that's the aim. So this game, if we can beat Bexley, we'll go in second position. I mean, depending on what Danson does, if they win their game, obviously they're staying first. If they lose, then we go top of the table. So this is a big game. Boys, uh, nice, nice and relaxed there, really good. Today is the sort of things that we've prepped you for all season now. Yeah. Last year we were the team that people didn't care about. We were South Average. We were we were a team fighting for our lives. We're now a team that looks up the table, looks below us. Yeah. Look up at the table, there's only two teams above us now. It's important to remember where we've come from and to remember today is a day to take some glory. We want to be in control of our own destiny. Every one of you has the ability to win us a game. Whether it's a great save, a great defensive block, the final pass that leads somebody in, scoring a penalty, taking a corner. All those moments matter. Mm. Byron, and then we're going to get going. Yeah, boys. Remember what we're good at today, yeah? We are a very good football inside the pitch. We're probably not going to play on too many better this season, yeah? So let's try and use um, that to our advantage. Let's try and keep um, what we're good at in mind. We've also got very good attackers, yeah? So don't get caught overplaying. Give the ball to the forwards, let them do their thing, yeah? Keep it tight at the back. Remember, we've beaten these lot already, yeah? So they're coming out for revenge against us, yeah? So first things first, be aggressive in everything that we do, yeah? From the first minute, make sure that they know that we're in for this battle, yeah? They're above us in the table, not for much longer, yeah? It starts from today. Let's, Let's go, go, boys. Go. Everyone heads down, ready? Ball is on three. One, two, three, boys! Before we start the game, a quick shout out to our sponsors, Prince of Peckham. Trust me, you've got to try their food, especially the jerk chicken. Amazing stuff. So we start the kickoff, South Ballers to the world. Not to put the pressure on the ballers or anything, but this game is a must win. Up until this point, we've gone eight games unbeaten. So if we win this game, we're going to make it number nine. So on Twitter, there was a poll going around asking who was going to win this game, South Ballers or AFC Bexley. To be fair, that's just a bunch of distraction to us. We don't really care about any polls. We just want to play our football. Good ball from Tunde. Good head there from Pels to give it to Shams. Romario gives it to Pels. And what a lovely pass from Pels to find Dara at the edge of the box. Oh, the player did well. The slide tackle to get the ball out. Long throw from Daniel into the box, but they get a good header up. And it looks like a counter attack is on. They've got the ball on the wing. The striker's running with it, but that Daniel's staying with him. He tried to get past the midfield. Pels was dead to intercept it. He was past the first player. Oh, tried to pass the second player, but he got taken down. 
Corner kick here. Romario's taking it. Oh, he floats a lovely ball into the box. Ben got a head on it. Oh, the ball is a quality for handball. I think that was definitely a handball. Yeah, no, the manager was definitely thinking, yo, we got away with that one. I mean, we'll have a look at it again. But Pels picks up the ball outside their box. Skips past this player. Edge of the box now. Gets a cross into the box to find Charlie. Or Lancer Romario. Charlie's got the ball now. Clicks his shot. Oh my days. How did people save that? That was point blank. But let's have a look at that incident again. Was it a, was it a handball? The ball goes into the box. Yep, definitely touches the player's hands. But it's all good though. It's still early on in the game. It is what it is. Now they're attacking us. They've got the ball. Oh, Tinder said, nah, G. Not on my turf, my guy. Give me the ball, mate. Now they got a free kick. They whip on into the box. Oh, they get ahead on it. Oh, but it's gone out wide. Oh, that was close. Now we get a corner kick. Charlie's taking it. Whips a nice ball into the box as well. Pell's got ahead on it. But they had a player measure the line. Just cleared it out. If Pell's had a FIFA card, honestly, his aerial prowess would be like 99. He just manages to win every single header. I don't know how he does it. Good kick there from Dom. Oh, the first touch from their player puts their striker on. But Ben is staying with him. Eunice is there as well. And there's two on one. He tries to get across into the box. Tinder was there to clear it out. I think Charlie just got a bit injured there. Oh, that was a lovely ball. But luckily, that was offside. Now, good kick there from Dom. It's a flowing one. Oh, Lance to Dara. What a lovely touch on Dara. Yeah, the player had no choice but to take him down. And the player was like, nah, I'm sorry, I can't let you go through, mate. So we get a free kick in the same spot. Charlie takes it. Oh, oh, Lance to Shams. Shams takes a shot. Oh, it gets blocked. He gets another goal. Another takes another shot. Oh, but he couldn't really get much power on it. And they cleared the ball out. Now it looks like they're about to start countering us. The break is on. They spray the ball out wide. Now they're running with it. Ooh, lovely chase there from Dara. And put the burners on. We've got the ball, edge of our box. Ah, oh, Daniel got barged out of the way. What's he going to do with it? Goes past the first player. Oh my days. How did he do that? That was wild. If he had scored that, mate, you got to put that down. One of the best goals of the season. Ooh, Eunice got the ball, edge of their box. Let's cross into the box. Finish it. Well, Lance to Romario and it takes a shot. Oh, but the player did well to block it. But the attack is still on. Shams tries to give the ball to Charlie. Is Charlie going to get to it? He does. Then he gets fouled. Gets pushed in the back. Yeah, these AFC Bixley guys are getting super aggressive. I think it's high time the ball is... Oh, <laughs> I'm half spoken too soon. The ballers are moving mad as well. Yeah, Pels was like... See what your man did to Charlie. It's payback time, guys. They get a free kick. They float one into the box. They couldn't make much of it, though. But the ball's still live for them. As Tunis stays on their player, and he kicks the ball out. Now, Tunis has been on smoke today. He's like, listen, man them. We're winning this game. They get a throw in. Good head there from Ben. But the ball's still not fully out yet. We're taking way too much pressure at the moment. OK. I think I spoke too soon again. Charlie's picked up the ball. He sees Abu making a run. Ah, oh, tries to feed it to Abu. But the ball just hit the back of his foot. And now they're countering us again. They're attacking us. The way these guys break is so scary. Oh my days, that is so dangerous. What a lovely save from Dom. Really incredible. Incredible. That was magnificent. Yo, Dom. You just saved us there. Blimey. Now they're passing the ball at the back. We need to start putting pressure on them. We should not let them be able to do this. Good head there from Eunice to get the ball to Pels. Pels takes the ball down, gives it to Shams. Shams gives it to Romario. What a lovely bit of football from the ballers here. Eunice is trying to find Charlie, oh, but the pass wasn't good enough. But you know what Charlie's like? He chases everything. And that's one of the things, one of the qualities that makes him so good. He's so aggressive and hungry for the ball. That even if there's the slightest chance that he's going to get the ball, he's still going to go for it. But what a lovely shot. A good block from the ballers there. We get a corner kick. They float one into the box. Nothing really comes much of it though. And now it looks like they're about to counter again. Oh, this is crazy. Every time we have a corner kick, Run. they've almost got a counter. They slip a ball through to that striker. Oh, look at Ben. Lovely tracking back from Ben there. 
that could have ended up really dangerous. They get a free kick in a dangerous position. We whip a ball into the box, but it was no issue for Dom to save that. Dom, aka Chesney. Lovely kick there from Dom. Ball lies into midfield. Bexley has the ball now. They're running towards our goal. They spray the ball out wide. This winger is so tricky. Whenever he's got the ball, I'm kind of panicking, I can't lie. He goes past Daniel, gets across into the box. Luckily, there was no one there to get their final tap in. Wow, I'm not gonna lie. The past 20 minutes or so, it feels like Bexley have had the upper hand. They've been a lot more comfortable in this game. Lovely skill there from Charlie. Good pass from Charlie to Romario. Romario trying to find Charlie with a return ball. What a lovely ball. Now Charlie's through on goal. But the ref blows for offside. Come on. We've got to look at that again. Let's see. As you can see, he was not offside. My goodness. The linesman needs to go to Spag Savers. Good throw from Eunice. Eunice gets the ball back. What's he going to do with the edge of the box? Gets across into the box. Abu couldn't get ahead on it. Charlie tried to get a pass to Abu. The ball is a qualified handball. But the ref is moving like Ray Charles. I'm legally blind. Charlie picks up the ball in the box. They foul him. Penalty! Alright, Charlie. No pressure. But let's get this in, yeah? Bottom right, as always, bro. Slot that right in. Love that. Come on! 1 0 to start ballers. And look at how, how that guy over there just pushed Charlie. I'm telling you, man. These Bexley guys are aggressive. But yeah, 1 0 to start ballers. With just two minutes left of this half. There's no better time to score a goal or to, or to take the lead. Just right before half time. Yeah, that was definitely not a foul, mate. Ref is moving like this is the World Cup. Now, how many minutes is he trying to get added on? Okay, love that. He's blue for the whistle. It's the end of the first half. Listen, I feel like, you know, they had spells where they dominated the game and we had spells where we dominated. So it's been a fairly even game so far. Let's hear from Brownie and Byron on a halftime team talk. That's well done. But it's half a job. Like but it's a good job, all right? Can I just say, as the game grew in, they grew in confidence. And we defended really well. But what we do need to, we now need to trigger that. When they're, the, when they're growing in confidence, when it goes out for a throw, or it goes out for a corner, slow the game down. Yeah? Don't worry about helping your teammate get the ball. Especially now, we're not, slow the game down. Take the momentum out of them. Yeah? When we're going forward, great. Like I said before, we need to think about defending though. Because sometimes we are, too many people are going forward. All right, but that break is good. Yeah, that break is that break mm. is good. We're cut. We're we're doing well at the minute now. Go in one nil. First ten minutes. Um, make sure that the midfield three actually sit this time. Yeah. So be your diamond, but be a complacent diamond like that. All right. All right throw your rocks up if you're a Jay Z fan. Mm. All right. Um, uh, Byron. Boys, I think we haven't played enough football, which mm. has meant that they've had more possession, which means that we're working harder than we should be. Like, especially along the back line, it feels like the ball is constantly coming back at us and people are having to cover and do a madness on 1v1s and stuff. When we keep it simple and move the ball, they can't handle it really. But we haven't done it enough. So less touches in the middle. Like, Forget trying to beat people 1v1, just pop it to your mate, run around get it back like it's literally as simple as that but we're just not doing it enough we started off doing it and it was looking good we were camping in there half for like five ten minutes mm. we stopped doing that and now the ball's been in our box for a good period of this game yeah so we need to keep the ball on the floor move it that is part of game management as well if we have the ball they can't score in it so think can we get the ball can we play it wide can we recycle it move out the other way yeah that is what the game is now Lads, like I said before, biggest 45 minutes of the season coming up. Every man's got to throw himself on the line. Yeah, that's been and gone. It's a new half. Set the standard. Let's go, boys. One, two, three. Ballers! Nil, nil, boys. Let's go. Get the ball and move it. Said by Byron. I like to move it, move it. But he's speaking straight facts, though. That's how we got to play. South Ballers, we're a good football inside. We're not about this long ball thing. Perfect. We just want to play the ball on the ground, move the ball around and do our thing. 
That was a lovely touch there from Kwam. Gives the ball to Abu. Abu back to Kwam. Kwam back to Abu. <laughs> I'm loving this. One, two between the both of them. Abu picks up the ball. What's he going to do with it? Gives it to Kwam. Kwam sees Charlie. Charlie tries to set it up for Romario. But Romario couldn't get there in time. Didn't anticipate it. Good start from the borders though. This second half is going to be a true battle. I can tell already. Bexley are out of all the cup games. So for any chance of silverware, they have to win the league. So they're really going to be focusing on this league. So we're going to have to just play our football the second half. And try to get some more goals. Lovely touch there from Romario. What's he going to do with it? He sees that Pels is there. Goes, has to take a shot. Bruh. <laughs> they get a free kick. About 25 yards out. Oh, that's a lovely touch from their player there. The ball's a bit scrappy. Excellent. Oh, Dom did excellent to save the ball there. Another free kick. We're getting peppered right now. I'm not going to lie. A good head there. And Kwam to get the ball out. Now it's our turn to attack. Or maybe not. Lovely tackle there from Charlie. But the ref calls a foul. Come on, ref. What is going on? Lovely bit of play there from Shams to win the ball back. He gives the ball to Charlie. Charlie's got the ball. Edge of the wing. No one loves the wing more than Charlie. Goes past the first player. Goes past the second player. Gets across into the box. Abu takes a shot. That one hurt. We could have easily made it 2-0 there. But it's all good though. We just got to keep on playing our football. Good touch there. Oh, what a lovely flick from Abu to Kwam. I'm loving the football the ballers are playing right now. Like the coaches said, when we've got the ball, let's just play football. Recycle the ball if it's not on. Eunice to Charlie. Oh my day, my guy got turned into a Beyblade. Charlie's running with the ball now. What's he going to do with it? Oh, the player came out with a lovely tackle. Another great tackle. But the ref calls a foul. Come on, ref. Stay consistent, please. Lovely ball. Oh, look at that. And the ref doesn't call it. See, I'm legally blind. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Yeah, it's got to be that, man. The ref is legally blind. Oh, my God. These corner kicks are so daunting. We need to just clear the ball out and get it out. Lovely pass into the box from their player. But luckily, the ref calls a handball. Ooh, that, was, uh, that was tight. <laughs> now, they've got the ball in midfield. Oh, Shang picks up the ball. Excellent. Sees that Abu's making a run. Abu's on now. He's got Charlie to his right. What's he gonna do with it? Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. Salam. That defender. Oh my days, Abu's taking a biscuit. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, Charlie's got the ball. He's gonna do with it. Back pass Excellent. to Daniel. Daniel takes a shot. Is that going in? That was excellent. From Abu to Charlie to Daniel. That was magnifique. This is très magnifique. Wow. I'm still in awe from that. <laughs> Good tackle there from Ben to give the ball to Charlie. Now Charlie gives the ball to Shams. But there's a bit of a scuffle between Charlie and one of the other players. To the ref. Let's just look at that again, actually. Charlie picks up the ball. Gives it to Shams. Oh, Charlie gets tripped. And I think Charlie pushed the player. So the ref has just called him to the side for a chat. Moving like Love Island and that. So the bad news. Charlie got a red card. He's going to have to miss the next three games. Wait, what? I don't think that's sunk in yet. I need a moment to process this information. I'm not going to lie, that's actually quite peak, losing Charlie for the next three games. Our next three games are pretty much <laughs> going to be one of our biggest games. But it is what it is. They've got a long ball. Well, it should be no issue for Samson to deal with. Samson tried to clear the ball, but well, didn't go too far. And now they're attacking us. They've got the ball, all edge of our box. What are they going to do with it? Oh my days, Samson got sent flying. Good interception there from Shams. Shams, just clear it out, mate. You can't be doing skills at the edge of the box. K 
Come on. A bit of block there from Daniel. And they get a corner kick. They float a ball into the box. Good hands there from Dom. But the danger is not cleared yet. And the ball is just still a bit messy right now. Good clearance there from Tunde. The last 15 minutes of this game felt like two hours. Playing with 10 men. Trying to hold back all their attacks. A oh, lovely save there from Dom. Knowing these Sunday league pitches. Ball could have easily bounced awkwardly and went into the goal. So Dom did really well there. Lovely tackle there from Tunde. To get the ball to no to Kwam. Now Kwam's got the ball. He's got no reinforcement, so he just has to go back. Daniel clips the ball long. Tries to find Abu. Abu's running towards the ball. But the defenders did well to clear the ball out. Rams rips the ball into the box. Sham's gonna get to it. No, he doesn't. The ref calls for a free kick. I don't really understand how that was a free kick. It is what it is. We're into the dying minutes of the game. The last couple minutes. We just need to hold our ground. Good work there from Ben to win the ball. Now Ben's running with the ball. This is a good counter opportunity. Get the ball to Abu. Okay, it looks like Ben has just glitched a little bit. He's like, yo, my lugs are done out here, man. They get a throw in. Abu's chasing the ball. And that was the end of the game. 1 0 to South Ballers. Love that. Yo, that was a battle. Just like Brownie said, we had our destiny in our hands. Wow, what a game. Man of the match. To be fair, there could have been a few man of the matches. But on this particular occasion, we went for Ben. Look at the goals in the assist table. Charlie's just doing a madness right now. But who was your man of the match? Leave a comment down below. And we'll see you next week. Same time, same day. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, fucking love it. Yeah. <laughs> love it. Love <laughs> it. <laughs> what <laughs> new? <laughs> Performance boys, man. Go for it, man. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, 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 that is what, that is what mountain challenges are about. You now own your own destiny. Yeah. Yeah, you own your own destiny. Yeah, we beat Danson, we beat them, we can win the league. Yeah, that is what that is about. That is about mountain challenges and making things happen. You go down to 10 men, your backs are against the wall. That is what football is about. Yeah. All right. Next week, quarter final. Wednesday after that, them again. And then we will wait for our semi-final and our game against Danson. The games are coming thick and fast. They are all big games now. If you cannot put that performance in every week, then you don't deserve to be wearing that shirt. I don't care if you win 1-0, 20-0, 10-0. Performances like that make it happen. Byron. Boys, couldn't be proud of, proud of you today, man. When it got when the going got tough, we got going. And every game, as Brian just said, every game now is big, yeah? This is the minimum standard that we need now. It's the minimum amount of effort, yeah? Suspensions are going to come, injuries are going to come because we're putting our bodies on the line, yeah? So make sure that you're all fighting for each other. And it starts from training, boys. It's remember this feeling and we take it into every single game that we have left with. We're good? We're good. Well done, boys. Well done, boys. Well done, boys. Well done, boys. Well done, boys.